Hi Pisces, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? This is a weekly reading for June 28th through July 4th, 2021. Can you believe I've been doing this for about a year now? Um, by the way, this has been an interesting week for me. I've had some really awesome things happen. For example, yesterday I became a certified advanced Akashic Records reader. So amazing. And now I'm getting ready to start like tomorrow or the next day because I it's an on-demand course on a healing through the Akashic Records course. And I'm absolutely excited about that. But then two days ago, a lovely young woman that I know and her family was in a tragic accident and she and her family or part of her family is deceased. And that drove home to me how much I believe in what I believe. I've been reading Edgar Casey since I was a teenager, a long time. And I believe that when we die, we go to the spirit world. Our spirit does. I also believe in reincarnation. No doubt about it. Never really had a doubt about it. And so... I fully believe that this young woman has already gone to the spirit world and she's already in a better place. On the flip side, her family and a lot of my family is suffering because of it. But deep down, I know what I believe in. And so I'm just sad for those of us left behind. And I, that's not the only time I've thought that lately about people. But it just keeps driving it home to me. And when I read the Akashic Records and I talk about people's past lives with them, I know it's true. And that's amazing. And that's also very reassuring. Okay. And so what do I see for you, Pisces? I see that y'all are really overwhelmed. You're sitting here and you're crying well, not literally, maybe figuratively, but you're overwhelmed by the th what's going on in your life and just so many things are hitting you, kind of like a wind just blowing and blowing and blowing and blowing. You're just like, oh my God. And you need to like, you need to mourn or deal with that emotion. But at the same time, you need to pull yourselves out of the depths because as long as you're sitting there in your pity pot, you're never going to move forward. And this is a time of newness, of starting out on a new journey. So you get the fool. Now, I am not saying y'all are fools. Let's just get that straight. But see, he's getting ready to start on the journey. And they say that the major arcana, which is 22 cards, is the fool's journey. But see, he's getting ready to start off. And he's about at the end of this and he's about to fall off into the abyss and his dog's going woof, 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 woof. no no master and that's what it's saying is you're sitting here overwhelmed and you're not seeing that you're beginning this new journey whatever has just ended that you don't like it's ended it's okay it's going to be good you also get the justice card doo, 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 doo. justice is about karma the yin and the yang, good and bad, not, it's not necessarily about like a legal theme. It's like, if you throw a ball off the wall, it's going to bounce. That's kind of a karmic thing. So there's just yin and yang, give and take, just that kind of thing. That's what justice is. And so you are going through this time that you're just really mourning the losses or what you see as losses, but really look for the lesson and look for the yin and the yang within it, okay? You also get the 10 of wands. This says to me that you are overworked and you're feeling exhausted, which is another reason why you're really sad because they say hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. If you're any of those four things, you are at risk of making stupid decisions. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm saying you're at risk of making bad decisions. You also get the Knight of Pentacles. And this card is saying that 
look for the creative way to go. You're getting ready to move into a good place, but there's some, cre you need to bring in some creativity. You need to look at this journey, look at a different way because your perspective is actually what's skewed. And you get the sun. This says you need to spend time with friends and family. And I think that they're going to help bring your perspective into the right perception. Remember how when you would look at a kaleidoscope and, or even better, like even on, it's not Instagram, it's that one I don't like where you put on these filters on the pictures and they all are distorted. Well, that's kind of what's going on with you. You're seeing things through that distortion. But your friends, your family, your loved ones can help you see the things without that filter. You can see them as they really are. Now we're going to pull a Oracle card. And we get share your voice. It says, come out of the cave, persecution expression. So you are feeling persecuted. You do not need to feel persecuted. You need to express your voice. You know, like that song, sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else but you. Just sing, sing a song. Express yourself. Find your voice. Because as you find your voice, and you let your needs be known, things are going to get better. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.